Hello, my name's Emil. My call sign is VK3NAF, as in November Alpha Foxtrot. And today I'm just going to present to you a short video uh, about um, two things um, optocouplers and using one to key a commercial transceiver using a microcontroller. Um, this um, video has been influenced um, by um, the one that um, Peter Parker, VK3YE, made um, using the Arduino for um, ham radio purposes. Um, in it, he built a simple crystal oscillator and um, used the Arduino as a beacon um, to, well, to create a beacon, a low power one. Um, I am decided to um, experiment. Um, I bought one of those Arduino boards myself. I'm going to use it to key a commercial um, transceiver to um, give a bit more power so you can um, create a temporary beacon um, for testing purposes. Now um, what we got here is a really simple diagram using the optocoupler. Basically an optocoupler, um, what it is, it's um, a LED which is used to turn on a photodiode. Now what I'm doing over here, I'm connecting it to pin 3 of the Arduino board via a 470 ohm resistor just to um, limit the current a bit. Um, basically pin 13 is the LED on the Arduino board. Uh, when the LED turns on, turns on the internal LED. Uh, when that internal LED turns on, it actually turns on the transistor. So between this point and this point there is a low resistance, um, sort of like closing a switch. When the LED is off, it turns the transistor off, therefore between this point and this point it's a high resistance, sort of like a switch being open. So as you can see you can use, you know, program the Arduino to put out a call sign whatnot um, and use it to key a commercial transceiver. Um, between here and here when it's on it only um, is a low resistance like about 400, 500 ohms, um, not exactly a closed switch um, but near enough. Now um, yeah, to these points over here you would connect uh, um, say a, a plug such as this, you're either 3.5 mils or quarter inch depending upon what transceiver you use. To that point you'll connect it to the tip, to that point there you'll connect it to the sleeve. Now. Um, I'm going to show you this thing in action and um, just to give you an idea how it works. Alrighty, here we are. Um, let's move this back a wee bit. Alright, there's the Arduino board from freetronics.com. Is it .au? Maybe. But anyway, there's the board. Um, in it you can see pin 13, which is the vaguely red wire and ground. Um, connected, um, well, pin 13 connected to the resistor into the optocoupler. From the output of the optocoupler, this is going to the um, key input on my ICOM IC746. Uh, I didn't actually bother programming it up with any um, Morse program, but that's okay. I'm running into a dummy load just to be safe, and I'm not going to hit the transmit button when I put it in CW mode, but just to give you an idea of what it's doing, here we go, I'll just put it in um, CW mode. And it's beeping away, not giving any sort of intelligible information apart from the occasional beep. Now, um, as you can sort of see, you can use it to um, program a call sign for a beacon, for testing, or just for the sheer hell of it. Um, and it seems to work all right. Now, I've, as you can see, it's working here on my ICOM IC746. Um, I tried it on my Yaesu FT817ND, and um, I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work on an 897D or an 857. Um, but obviously, you know, your mileage may vary. The um, Morse keys um, inputs might be a bit different, um, may not accept such a, I don't know, 500 ohms may be a bit high for it, but, you know, it's a proof of concept and it works, and I'll stop that beeping before it gets on my nerves, as it will. Oops, wrong button. Let's put on that. But, yeah, there you go. Something you can try at home for fun and games. Anywho, I'm going to sign off. Have fun.